Okay guys, welcome back to the Forza Drivers Cup on Forza Motorsport 7. We are here for race 3 of the season here at Laguna Ra uh, Mazda Laguna Seca? Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, one of the two. I knew I would get it right at some point. We're here for 10 laps here. And this time it's dry, unlike Brands Hatch, which is a little bit of a plug here. There's a link in the description for that if you want to go check it out. Feel free to. And yeah, we are going to be... Well, we're going to be racing race 3 of 6 here today. And I'm looking forward to this race at Laguna Seca, so without any hesitation, let's get down to the start of race 3. Here we go. The Simona Di Silvestro Nissan Altima is looking very good today. Hopefully, we can come away with another fantastic performance like we had in, well, the first race in America in Long Beach. So, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's not outbreak ourselves. It's still on unbeatable difficulty as we've been pinched by nearly every V8 supercar that's on the field. Can you get up the inside here? I'm going to be learning this circuit as well because I've not raced here in a V8 supercar. I've raced here in the global touring cars, but then again, that was also on Forza 6. Because we, I was in a league at that... Well, I am still am in that league, but it's not... Uh, Touring cars this time. Okay, I didn't expect you to just get on the brakes for that turn there, mate. Oh, well, I, well, I knew you were going to get on the brakes. I just didn't expect it to be in that early. And I expected the AI to be cutting back across the track. That was close. So the race leader at the minute is G-Man. Okay, so that's one of the championship contenders from what I'm looking at that... That pen, pen right car is definitely playing, a, not a bit risky, but he's definitely trying to defend as we slip by him after the corkscrew into the back of the seventh place car. You'd think they'd be quicker on unbeatable difficulty through here. Let's try, no, not on the inside there. Okay, we can win this race, but we're coming to complete the first lap of the race. I'm going to, no, he's going to defend. Okay, that was... This is what I like about unbeatable difficulty. The AI are a lot... They feel a lot better than being on pro. To be fair, but the car is still coming into its own. It takes a bit. We just need to stay in... In a... In, in position. To try and attack when our car gets to where we need it to be. Okay. That, that feels good through there. Down to second through there. Is that enough? Probably should have stayed in third. But again, we're not holding the cars up behind like we did at Brands. Or like we... the same at Brands where we wasn't holding any cars up. But I got a feeling I'm going to be much quicker off the corkscrew than, than the AI through here. But got a feeling I would have been quicker through there, but I'm not. We're quicker into the corkscrew. I'll say well, we're not quicker than the AI through there. We're definitely quicker than him, than him through here, though, aren't we? We probably are if we get stop being sideways everywhere. Dive bomb, dive bomb. I'm going to go for it this time. You're cutting it off, but I'm going for it. Nope. Definitely not able to pass him even with a dive bomb. So at the end of two laps, we stay in eighth position. I'm thinking practice would have probably been a good thing to do for this race. Or for these, yeah, for these type of cars. Because you can do a test drive on here. On these tracks before actually getting underway just a couple laps but it's not bad through there come on James you should be better than this
up the inside here. Not quite. We we would have been close enough if we would have been quicker out one of the turns. He's made a mistake. He's got sideways. Around the outside, this is risky. I'm going to make it stick. No contact and a pass around the outside for P7. Fantastic. Now, is he going to dive it up the inside at the final turn? No, he's not. Now, what can we do with the rest of the field? Because I want to catch G-Man, to be fair. Oh, 31.8, so 7 tenths quicker on that last lap. Somebody's knocked the braking boards down, which threw me off a little bit at first. So we're three laps into this race, because we're working lap four. It's good. It's going well. That was better through there than than before. I'm just checking the car that the car behind wasn't up me inside or trying to get up me inside. Over the brow of the hill, six tenths quicker on his personal best. Down into the corkscrew, down into first gear on the back of the Mercedes AMG. He's got sideways and all, but I'm not going to be close enough to go around the outside. We we just give him a bump because he's early on the brakes and slide up the inside. You know, I'm going to stick it around the outside again. I'm feeling confident. And we pull off another move. This time I cut across his nose. A bit cheeky. But just to make sure he doesn't get back to the outside and do what we did to him. Now we've got some progress to be making. There's one of the meter boards that had been knocked down, but we've, we're have quite a few me 100 meters, well, feet away from the car ahead, so. So we don't have any reference coming into the next few corners, but after four laps, you'd think I would have a reference for this circuit by now. And considering seeing that, you'd be wrong. If you thought I did. Okay, come on. We can be much quicker than... Yeah, that's outbreaking yourself, James. It's good because I don't have a reference, but I'm not gaining anything on the car head. If anything, I've lost stuff to him through there, but yeah... This is going okay, but we, I don't think... Oh, that's kind of cutting. I don't think from what I'm seeing we could actually win the Forza Drivers' Cup for the V8 Supercars. It's not a problem. It's all about just completing it anyway. I, oh, I would like to win, but these next few races are going to have to be one hell of races that we're going to be able to win. We're going to have to win and probably bump off our contenders, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. I tried to be as clean as possible. Might rub door handles with you when I'm passing you, but... But I'm not going to bump you out of the way completely. Although, on Forza, you can't help that because of the AI sometimes. I thought the car got sideways and I tried to correct it and we got on the the um, the sand or the gravel. So we're halfway in this race already. Uh, I, mi I must have missed that because I was too busy kicking myself of out breaking myself at nearly every corner.
Well, G-Man is definitely pulling away at the front of the field. So a race win isn't going to be possible. I don't even think fourth place is going to be possible. So I'm going to have to stay in fifth. That's if I can get fifth. I would so love to win on Unbeatable again. I think I managed to do it once or twice on fours or six on Unbeatable, but... But it's great fun, this Forza game is. If any of you guys have an Xbox One on Forza, or are you thinking, well, shall I get Forza 7? Is it really going to be any good? I suggest it. you, you do get it because it is absolutely fantastic. I, I really enjoy it. It's got a whole range of cars. Mainly, you have to, you know, to buy the cars with some of them. And you can only earn credits in your own cars, so you have to buy them, which is, of course what you do on Forza anyway, but the thing is, you have to be a certain driver level to buy certain cars. You know, if you know if you understand what I mean, I think do you need to be like level five or six to unlock like the legendary cars and buy them? Like I like say legendary like the twenty seventeen Renault F one car. I think you need to be a driver level five to actually buy that. But yeah, it's one of it's one of those things where it's got its bad points, but I really enjoy Forza's as the lap times have gone off slightly. And because it wasn't an invalid lap time, because I didn't run off the circuit or wide or off drafting of anyone, that was a fastest lap, a 132.7. This should theoretically be when my car comes into play. We're up by just over half a tenth. There we go, that's what I want to do for the car through there, but we're losing time to the car ahead anyway, so... Up over the curb, ooh, that's a nasty little curb. To be fair, we're not really gaining much, but we're not really pulling away, so the, the AI unbeatable is definitely... Well, it's not unbeatable. It's the hardest difficulty you can have. But I'm just surprised there's a big step from pro to unbeatable, but... But we will be able to win at some point. Maybe it's all down to qualifying. But there is no qualifying in this series, so... Right, fourth place has dropped off the back of that group, but it's not going to be enough, not with two laps to go. P5 looks like it's going to be our best bet as well, by 1.3 seconds over his personal best. Okay, so it looks like G-Man's going to hold on for the win, but it's still quite close up front. Which means we're going to be losing even more points to him in the standings. I've got a feeling we're going to lose fourth pl uh, third place as well in the standings. Are we, are we fourth? I think we're fourth in the standings, to be fair. Okay, so we've got only a couple laps left to try and overtake... Sam UK. Okay, we're up by a tenth. We, we're sort of pulling away from the cars behind, which is a good thing. Which means if me, if me and Sam UK get in strife, we're not going to be a, a much threat from behind. Why did I go down to second through there? Stay in third through here, okay, it slowed down a bit sideways, but... Okay, there we go, we... Can we get it up the inside at the final turn, he's going to defend. No contact this time, surprisingly. But he's got a better run out because he didn't get sideways. God damn it. One lap to go here at Laguna Seca. Heavy on the brakes, down into this next turn. Down it well into the first turns. 
all, all over the back of him, but uh, we've got a, a skewed angle going into the turn. It well, actually, no, not on a skewed angle. It was just me being stupid. We're going to have one more chance at it coming out of the final turn. I've got that feeling unless we get him up into the corkscrew. Okay, so we've got a fight on his hands for P5. Don't want to go, don't want to bin it this late into the race. Can we, are we, we're, no, we're too far back I think for a move up at the corkscrew, are we? Not quite, we're still, well we're, I'm trying it anyway, on the curbs. He's a bit skewed on the curbs, as there we go, we take P5. Like I said, when we're getting, if we get in strife, which we did, but it looks like it's going to be G-Man that's going to be taking the race victory today. Congratulations, my friend. As we are going to come across the line, not as far back as we was at Brands Hatch. Actually, are we? Are we over 10? Yeah, we're over 10 seconds behind again, but we're going to finish in P5 this time. We got 500 series points, which isn't enough to actually stay in contention, I don't think, but... Um, yeah, I think we would finish second. Was it Don? Yes, it was. It was G-Man ahead of Fatboy, ahead of Esprey, ahead of XO Jessica, and then Jam Sankith, which is me, in P5. Okay, so we lost 100 points to G-Man up front. Um, oh, there's the rest of the field. Okay. Yeah, and Ruthless finishing last, I mean, 25th. Well, we haven't finished 25th yet, but the top six, well, the top other top five and well it, sixth you know they're all most of them are my friends there up front so um let's continue to check the damage in the points i'm gonna lose fifth i'm gonna lose fourth yeah i'm down to fifth but we're not far off we're in a fight i, I, I can say we probably could get third but i'm gonna need to start winning to get third but um yeah so g-man holds the points lead by 30 points over fat boy and S3 is in is in third. He's not far off the top of the standings, but he's not close neither. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you've liked it, let me know. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we can get a race win there because we've had two solid races. Well, three solid races. Two of them unbeatable, of course. But um, yeah, I will see you later, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.